welcome to Rashmi classes. Today we'll discuss on RSRP, RSRQ and SINR. So let's get started. Let's start with RSRP. Reference signal received power or with abbreviated version RSRP is linear averaged signal strength of reference signal. The reference signal is carried by resource elements, RE. RSRP is used for cell selection, cell reselection and handover purposes in LTE. It is equivalent of CPICH power in WCDMA. UE measures all the reference signals which are carried by resource elements and makes an average of measurements to obtain an RSRP value. In this example we will see theoretical calculation of RSRP. Frequency bandwidth 20 MHz Number of subcarriers 1200 There are 1200 subcarriers in 20 MHz RRU power 20W equals 20,000 mW, mW Power in each subcarrier 20,000 mW 1200 equals 16.66 mW equals 12.2 dBm. So based on calculation, transmission power for each resource element is 12.2 dBm. Antenna gain, 16 dBi. Feeder loss, 3 dB. Power from antenna, power plus antenna gain, Feeder loss equals 12.2 plus 16 minus 3 equals 25.2 dBm. Let's imagine path loss as 128 decibels in the UE location, then. UE measured RSRP equals to power from antenna. Path loss equals 25.2 to 128 equals minus 102.8 dBm. Now RSRQ. Reference signal received quality or with abbreviated version RSRQ is quality of the received signal. Here the received signal is reference signal RSRP. But how do we see the RSRQ value as negative in drive test tools and why do we need RSRQ? RSRQ value might be used for some scenarios such as cell selection, cell reselection and handover. Regarding to the negative value of RSRQ, then let's have a look following basic calculation. In this example we will see theoretical calculation of RSRQ. RSRQ equals N asterisk RSRP RSSI. RSSI equals received signal strength indication. Total received power in the certain bandwidth including traffic channel power, control channel power, thermal noise and ETC. RSRP, RX, equals reference signal received power. Average received power of reference signal which is carried on resource element, re. N. Number of PRB in certain bandwidth, e.g. 100 PRB and 1200 subcarriers are exist in 20 MHz, e.g. Bandwidth, 20 MHz, PRB, 100, RRU power, 20W equals 20,000 mW, mW, subcarriers, 1200, power in each subcarrier, 20,000 milliwatts, 1200 equals 16.66 milliwatts, milliwatt. Based on calculation, transmission power for each resource element is 16.66 milliwatts. Let's assume that all re powers are same like Rx power, RSRP. Then, RSRQ equals N asterisk RSRP. RSSI equals 116.66, 1216.66 equals 1 twelfth equals 0.083 milliwatts. Conversion to dB. 
आर एस आर क्यू इक्वल्स जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट थ्री एम वॉट इक्वल्स टेन एस्टरिस लॉग जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट थ्री अप्रोक्सीमेटली इक्वल्स माइनस टेन पॉइंट एट डेसिबल्स नाउ एस आई एन आर सिग्नल टू इंटरफेरेंस प्लस नॉइस रेशियो और एस आई एन आर इज अ क्वालिटी मेजरमेंट टाइप इन वायरलेस नेटवर्क अनलाइक आर एस आर क्यू It is not defined in 3 GPP specifications but it is defined by user equipment vendors with some special calculation methods in chipsets. The SINR is not reported to the network. In downlink direction it can be monitored by drive test tools. In uplink direction some of vendors have functions to measure and record SINR values. Currently Hawaii can record it via trace in E node B Nokia has some statistical counters to show uplink SINR values Somehow SINR is used by the UEs for CQI calculation and report to the network through PUSCH or PUCCH channels CQI is channel quality indicator and mainly used for resource allocation for UE by E node B consequently there is strong relationship between measured SINR value and user throughput SINR equals S I plus N or SINR equals power of usable signal power of interference plus power of noise S indicates the power of measured usable signals i indicates interference power of other measured signals n indicates background noise if background noise is zero then sinr will be sir during zero interference the sinr will be snr thanks for watching please like share and subscribe this channel